Right, my name's Derek Johnson and I'm the Masonry team leader in Glasgow. Yeah, well, what we do, we've got a team um, who basically cover the whole spectrum of jobs which is in masonry industry. There's lots of trades in the masonry trade. There's polishers, letter cutters, designers, masons, um, and we do the whole business from raw granite to placing headstones in cemeteries. My particular role is to run the team that does that. When I grew up in Glasgow many moons ago, um, it was, uh, I would say, I, was, I knew I wasn't the brightest kid, so I wasn't ever going to go to university or higher education, so it was to get a trade. Same with my brothers, my two brothers are both time served electricians, um, and my mum always instilled in us get a job, get a trade, and then you've got something behind you, you can do what you want after that sort of thing. I originally wanted to be a joiner, um, so I actually started sending away application forms to become an apprentice joiner and um, never get anything back. So I had no luck there and decided to start back fifth year. So I had actually started back fifth year, maybe a couple of weeks, and uh, the careers office had called me and said, there's an opportunity came along um, for a, a monumental mason. Are you interested? And I said yes. Went to see the factory on the Friday and I was on a train to Bath on the Sunday to go to college for a job that I'd never actually do, done a day's work in. So that was quite scary. I was only 16, 17. Um, I've been in my job for over 20 years, which I think kind of speaks for itself. Um, it's like any job, you've got highs and lows, but my job at the minute, I'm happy doing. I, I don't dread going to work. I quite enjoy it. Basically what happened for me to get to this position was I completed the YTS, did my apprenticeship, which as you're doing that, you learn all aspects of the trade, which is letter cutting, designing, masoning, sawing, the different materials, granite, marble, york stone. Um, and then once you become a tradesman, you then get put into your full-time job. And my full-time job was the designing um, of motifs to go into the memorials. Um, and I did that quite happily for 10, 12 years, something like that. And then started to get a little bit kind of fed up with it and wanted something else, but it took that amount of time for it to kind of come on to me. Um, decided I was getting itchy feet and approached my manager and said, I'm not happy, I'm wanting to move up. And it just so happened at the time a position became available and it was between me and another guy. And I got the job and I've never regretted it since. Two things that have impacted big in my life, I would say, was meeting my wife. Um, that was a big thing for me, and then when we had a, a baby, it was the second one, I would say. My wife is a, um, is a big inspiration, I would say, to me. She is completely opposite to me. She's very clever, very driven, very career-minded. She's got a, a degree and a PhD, and she's now a manager with a drug company, and goes to America on a regular basis and things like that, so she's kind of, she's pushing me quite a lot. I love playing golf, so I try to play every Saturday morning. Um, my baby's only two, so we try and get a babysitter, we try and make time to go out into town, go for a meal, and then have a wee bit of us time. And then obviously try and catch up with the boys now and again. So I like just to go out and have fun and not take life too seriously. If this job no longer existed in an ideal world, uh, I would like to, uh, I think it'd be quite interesting to be an architect. I think that'd be an interesting field to get into. I think it covers a lot of areas and different things, so I think that'd be quite interesting.